Uh, what do you say about Sheikh Imran Hussain? I don't know if anybody named Sheikh Imran Hussain. I know of uh, Imran Hussain uh, that is on YouTube that does videos about like the Jal and stuff like this, um, who made like very uh, strange claims that were against the clear aqid of Islam, like about uh, the Jal not being a person and so on. Wallahu alam. I haven't looked at his videos for years and years and years myself. Anyway. But uh, I would not suggest taking knowledge from people like that who are not ulema. They just kind of make up their own stuff, you know, online and things. Um, regarding making tafsir of uh, um, ayat and things, there is the rules of tafsir. Tafsir has to be done either tafsir al-Quran bil Quran, that is one usul, or tafsir al-Quran bil ahadith al-Sahihah, or tafsir al-Quran bil aqwal al-Sahaba, or tafsir al-Quran bil aqwal al-Tabi'oon, or tafsir al-Quran bil lugha al-Arabiya. لأن قال سبحانه وتعالى إن أنتنا قرآن عربي إن أنتنا قرآن عربيا يعني عربي أو قرآن باجتهاد العلماء على هذه الأبواب. There are six أبواب of تفسير one قرآن that explains itself or قرآن that is explained by authentic narrations or قرآن that is explained by the أقوال or the saying of the صحابة and we check for authenticity and the قرآن that is explained by the sayings of the تابعون and we check for the authenticity. This is the senior تابعون. Or Quran that is explained by the Arabic language and the linguistics of it, because Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says we believe the Quran in Arabic. Or Quran that is explained by the great scholars of Islam, based on these other five. So this is the way of tafsir. Not I any mean, people make up their own ideas nowadays. Uh, what is a botany tafsir? Is it deemed haram? Botany tafsir is a name given to some people that think there's a hidden meaning of Quran. This is just foolishness. It's haram because there is no evidence for it. 